Results overnight show students at Georgetown University support paying reparations to help atone for the school's past. Undergraduates voted overwhelmingly yesterday in favor of a $27 per semester fee to benefit descendants of 272 slaves who were sold by the school in the 1800s. The measure, which still needs the school's approval, could, see, could set an important precedent for other schools. Chip Reed spoke to students on both sides of the debate, and he's at Georgetown's campus in Washington. Chip, both sides, it sounds like a lot of them, uh, a lot of the students are standing on one side in particular. Good morning. Absolutely, they are. People here at Georgetown are waking up to the fact that a solid majority of students are willing to pay for the school's past sins. I talked to some students here early this morning, uh, and they say they believe it's a moral obligation. We needed to affect change in the university. We've all benefited from the sales of these slaves previously, and I think that we have a duty now to show our responsibility in the fact that we did benefit from them. Georgetown's endowment is over $1.5 billion, but in 1838, the school, deep in debt, sold 272 slaves to stay open. In 2016, the university's president apologized. We will seek forgiveness for our participation in the institution of slavery. An institution that left this institution divided. Now students here have voted to pay an additional $27.20 each semester that would benefit the descendants of those 272 slaves. Georgetown students just need to recognize how much other people have sacrificed in order for them to be where they are. But opponents like freshman Henry Dye argue the effort to unchain Georgetown's past takes liberty from today's students. You say it's a slap in the face at liberty. Yes. What do you mean by yes. that? I don't believe we should morally impose our values on other students. And the conversation isn't only taking place at Georgetown. I believe it's time to start the national full-blown conversation about reparations in this country. Some 2020 Democratic presidential candidates have come out in support of reparations. A recent survey found a majority of Democrats support studying ways to compensate black Americans for the impact of slavery. Georgetown offered preferential admission to their descendants, like this New Orleans chef who came here as a freshman at age 63. Georgetown students are setting a precedent here by doing something that's never been done before. In a statement, the university says it appreciates that students have made their voices heard, but the university has not said that they will implement the fee. It's not clear when or if that will happen. Major? Chip, thank you very much.